Welcome back to the presentation. In this video, I would like to write the Taylor series for the function fx is equal to 4x cubed plus 5x square plus 2x plus 3. Friends, what is the Taylor series? Taylor series gives us fx is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity fn 0x that means the n derivative of fx at x is equal to 0 divided by n factorial times x to the power n. Friends, first of all, we shall find the values. So, from this one, fx, what is f dash x? That means f1x means the first derivative of fx. This is equal to 3 for the 12 x square plus 5 to the 10 x plus 2. f2x, that means the second derivative of the function fx is equal to 12 to the 24 x plus 10. The third derivative of the function fx is equal to 24. The fourth derivative of the function fx is equal to 0 because this is constant. And so on. The fifth derivative of the function fx is equal to 0 and so on and so on. So friends, from this one, from, these, from the given function fx, we can find that f of 0 is equal to 4 times 0 cube plus 5 times 0 plus 2 times 0 plus 3. This is equal to only 3. So f of 0 is equal to 3. From the, from the first derivative of fx, that means we get here f1, 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 2, that is equal to 2. From the second derivative, f2, 0 is equal to 0 plus 10, that is equal to 10. Since the third derivative gives you gives us the constant, so f3, 0 is equal to 24. From this one, f4, 0 is equal to 0 because this is 0. f5, x is equal to 0. For this, we shall get f5 of 0 is equal to 0 and so on. So friends, after some moment, you may get that fn0 is equal to, that means an f derivative of the function fx at x is equal to 0 is equal to 0 because after third derivative we are getting 0, 0, 0 and 0. That means this fn0 is equal to 0 for n is greater than 3. Isn't it? Okay, fine. Now we have achieved all the values. So we can put all these values in the uh, Taylor's series. So fx the expansion of the Taylor series. So fx is equal to this one means this is f of 0 plus f1 0 into x plus f2 0 into x square by 2 factorial plus f3 0 into x cubed by 3 factorial plus f4 0 into x to the power 4 by 4 factorial and so on. So friends f of 0 is equal to 3. We have got it here. f0 is equal to 3. So put it here 0 plus f10. f10 is equal to 2. So f10 is equal to 2. We put it here 2 times of x plus f20. What is f20? f20 is equal to 10. So put it here f20 is equal to 10 times of x square divided by 2 factorial. What is 2 factorial? 2 factorial means 2 into 1. So this is 2 plus f30. What is f30? f30 is equal to 24. So put it here again f30 is equal to 24 times x cubed divided by 3 factorial. 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1. So this is equal to 6 plus f40. What is f40? f40 is equal to 0. Afterward, we are getting all the derivatives 0. So f from f4, 0, we shall write 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 and so on. So friends, after calculating, we shall get 2, 5, za, and here 6, 4, za, 24. So we write it f of 0 is equal to 3. 
mistaken here this is 3 okay f of 0 is equal to 3 f 0 is equal to 3 so this this uh, this expansion now becomes 3 plus twice x plus 5 x square plus 4 x cubed plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 that means 0 so ultimately we are getting the result of fx this is the expansion of the Taylor series so fx is equal to 3 plus 2x plus 5x squared plus 4x cubed so friends now after this step you will say sir it is madness because what is this what is this this is the function fx again and uh, the same polynomial this is 3 plus 2x plus 5x squared plus 4x cubed x, the, uh, the powers of x are in ascending order and the previous one what was given this is fx 4x cube plus 5x square plus 2x plus 3 the powers of x are in descending order this is the basic difference between these two polynomials but these two polynomials are same okay this is written in the reverse order nothing else so the approximation of the polynomial at x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 is just the polynomial again because what is this this is the taylor series this is the taylor series and uh, it's just better and better approximation as n gets larger and larger isn't it this n gets larger and larger so friends if i want to have fourth order approximation of the function fx at x is equal to zero you see that after the third derivative third derivative at the point x is equal to 0 we are getting all the values 0 0 0 and 0 so what will happen after fourth derivative or from the fourth derivative the remaining parts will be 0 and this part is as usual so we shall get again 3 plus 2x plus 5x square plus 4x cube whatever you take the fourth derivative or the fifth derivative or sixth derivative and so on so fx will be this one this polynomial 3 plus 2x plus 5x square plus 4x cubed so friends we get the same function back that is that's that's really the idea of what happening here and it's totally fine because you have seen this now now anytime i say polynomial and i want to do taylor series for the polynomial i have to write down the same polynomial again this is the goal of this video so ultimate answer of this question um, that is write the uh, taylor series for the function fx is equal to 4x cube plus 5x square plus 2x plus 3 so obviously um, my answer is it's just the function again thank you have a nice day